Rotator cuff. So go ahead and face that way, Lori. You okay there? Mm -hmm. Here what I'm doing is getting a firm hand all around her rotator cuff. And then I'm going to move the humerus within that. Rotation, abduction, adduction. But I'm feeling all around that joint, the glenohumeral joint, with my thumb and fingers to feel where it's restricted. So the movement's coming from her bones, from her humerus here. This, my right hand, the hand on her shoulder, isn't moving so much, except to seek out different places that are more restricted. Pressure still? Okay. Mm -hmm. this, this is a really useful move. You'll, this is like one of those moves that so many people benefit from, that it's a key, key one to really master and get a sense of. Now, if someone's a lot bigger than you, your hand, it might not be the right one. You know, if your hand isn't up to the girth of their shoulder girdle or weight lifters, that kind of thing. And if so, I don't really know any direct alternatives. I'll, actually, I'll show you some later. The one with the, uh, the prone rotator cuff one is one alternative. But for people your size or smaller, this can be a really effective way to free up that inferior glide and rotation of the humerus. Questions? We're quieter after lunch, huh? <laughs> now, how are you doing back there? Can you see it all? Yeah. Okay, just feel free to move around if you need to. That feels great. Yeah? yeah. Good. Next one. You can do so much more work, yeah. And I do, I work at a PT clinic now, and I see, God, I don't know, I, I don't even know sometimes how many people I see in a day, because it's a blur. Um, 20 people a day and generally I'm working on them for 15-20 minutes. It's great work for that because I just go in, I do um, really effective work with not all this expenditure of energy, which I have to do all day long. So it, it makes it so I can do this work actually there and really do it well, really make a difference to people.